In this video, we show how to replace the host processor module in a PowerEdge R770D. Before removing the host processor module, read through and follow the safety guidelines to protect your system from potential damage and ensure your personal safety. For more information about safety guidelines, see the PowerEdge R770 service manual at dell.com forward slash support. In order to remove the host processor module, you first need to remove the cover, riser blanks, air shroud, fan cage, backplane cover, any installed power supplies, DC SCM, memory modules, and processors. To remove the cover, rotate the lock counterclockwise to unlock it. Lift the latch to release the cover, then remove it from the system. To remove the riser blanks, on riser 2, loosen the two captive screws, and then remove it. Repeat the process for blanks 3 and then 1. For riser blank 4, loosen the three captive screws and lift it out of the system. To remove the air shroud, disconnect any data cables that are running across it. Press the cable retention clip and lift it out of the way and unroute the cables. Then holding both halves, lift the shroud out of the system. To remove the fan cage, lift the blue release lever on both ends and lift it out of the system. To remove the drive back plane cover, slide it towards the back of the system and remove. To remove the power supply, press the release latch and holding the handle, slide it out. Repeat if second one is present. To remove the DCSCM, disconnect the data cable connected to the attic board. Then lift the blue latch to disengage the board and slide it out of the system. To remove the host processor module, disconnect all remaining data and power cables and move them out of the way. Remove the heat sink and processors. Remove any installed memory. While using the blue board holder, lift the blue plunger and slide the host processor module towards the front of the system. Then, tilting it at an angle, lift it out of the system. To install the host processor module, while holding the blue holder and blue plunger, insert it at an angle. Then, slide it towards the back of the system. Replace any removed memory. Replace both heat sink and processors. Reconnect and route the power and data cables.
To install the DC SEM, slide it into the slot until firmly seated and close the blue latch. Then connect the data cable to the attic board. To install the power supply, slide it into the bay until the release latch snaps into place. Repeat if second one is present. To install the backplane cover, align it on the system and slide it forward into place. To install the fan cage, align and lower it into the system. Then, lower the blue release levers to lock it into place. To install the air shroud, align and lower it into the system. Route and connect the black cables on the black half and the gray cables on the gray half. Then, close the cable retention latch on the fan cage. To install the riser blanks, align riser blank 4 onto the guide pins and tighten the three captive screws. Align riser blank 1 and tighten the two captive screws. Repeat the process for riser blank 3 and then 2. To install the cover, align and place it on the system. Lower the latch, then rotate the lock clockwise to secure the cover. For more information or support about the PowerEdge R770, visit dell.com forward slash support.